Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 15th of December 2017. I posted a number of videos yesterday, I don't know, 10 or 12, I actually lost count. And I want to share a couple of comments that uh, some of the viewers made on this particular video. The title is, Little Marco is a No on Trump's Tax Bill. Some interesting comments that I believe are worth sharing. By the 3rd of January, 2018, it'll be 51 to 49. It'll be more difficult to pass legislation. Hmm. We have to bail out their bad investment decisions. This here view wrote, Spoilers again to ruin a good thing for the American people, but yet clowns keep voting clowns in. Will this be another thumbs down? And really, why this is, is simple. They are being paid off from the Dems. To be sure, it fails just like the repeal and replace of banana scam care. And unfortunately, what does this mean for Trump? He will be a one-term president, as George Bush Sr. was when he said, no new taxes. And he raised them. And on the other side of the coin, when a Democrat gets in, we can only look to see a tax increase that's what Democrats are known for and for killing the unborn. Well, you're also going to see them going after our Second Amendment if they get in. Another viewer wrote, you mean Marco, quote, gay foam party, end of quote, Rubio? Remember the Wayne Madison article that came out in the primaries about Marco Rubio's little boys party? If anyone else were president, these guys would probably vote for it. But they are voting against because they are pissed at Trump. This other viewer wrote, I don't understand. You are saying if they pass the tax bill, the little people are going to get screwed in your video. But you're also condemning Rubio for voting no for a bill. Folks, you can't have it both ways. This viewer by the name of Mike wrote, if you belong to a party and get elected to vote and support the party, then you should support the party. At this point, there is no one in the party as the designing a tax bill. They are laying their job to debate and discuss what shouldn't be in the bill solely on Trump. They are not doing their basic job to begin with. Anything that Trump wants to do, either good or bad, gets rejected. One thing it is doing is exposing the crooks and the worthlessness in Congress. I wrote, Mike, you hit it right on the head. The Democrats always circle their wagons, no matter what. And the Republicans, like Senator John McCain, Senator Lindsey Graham, Senator Susan Collins, Senator, Senator Lisa Murkowski, often tend to cross the aisle, just like little Marco did, by not supporting the party line. That's really what it's all about. You can't give me one instant where the Democrats don't always circle their wagons. Well. I guess there is one instance, and I just made reference to it in the previous video, and that is the amendment to bring about the ability to cross state lines, the Reciprocity Act. Six Democrats did support the bill. I'm sure that they were spoken to, but the good news is they did support the bill. folks. Have you noticed it's the same Republicans that cross the aisle over and over and over again? And as Mike said, when they get elected, they got voted in to support the party that voted them in. So when they do what often happens when they cross the aisle, they're turning against the people that elected them. 
doesn't that seem to make a whole lot of sense? It does to me, and it should to you. I want to thank Mike. I want to thank all the viewers that comment. I hope you take the time to read what they say. And you can't do that unless you're on ZonaReport.com. Thanks for listening.